so let us start we'll start with the new topic so that is the orbits under central forces so first of all actually we need to understand what is a central force so here actually the central force meaning if the line of action of the force if it is always passing through a single point then we say that there is the central force so if the line of action of the force is always passing through a single point then the force is called central force so this is what is called as the central force so the most popular example is earth running around the sun around the sun due to central force so here actually if the planet is rotated in an elliptical orbit like this and then this is the major axis this is the minor axis and this is the focus of the ellipse and then actually let us say the earth is located here then the line of action of the force actually is always attracted towards the sun so here actually there is a mass that is going to be associated for the earth and there is a mass that is going to be associated even for the sun now these two are actually getting attracted to each other now here actually as these two are getting attracted to each other obviously there is an attractive force between these two so there is an attractive force so this attractive force this is due to the newton's law of gravitation so this is newton's law of law of gravitation newton's law of gravitation so what is this newton's law of gravitation is whenever there are two masses those two masses will always attract each other See, any force is not a central force so here actually the central force comes into picture if there is a moving object so here actually suppose if there are two different masses like this the line of action of the force actually like this so if it is an attractive force it will be like that but actually if the earth is so if it is moved from this location even then also actually if the attractive force is towards like this then actually this is called as a central force now the central force comes into picture only when there are moving objects and the moving objects specifically in an orbit so this is orbit now here actually the basic concept of the central force is if you notice orbits under central forces this is the topic of discussion orbits under central forces meaning if at all there is a central force there will be always a kind of rotation or if there is always a kind of movement it won't stay at a single point if there is a central force now here actually the central force is actually due to the newton's law of gravitation there is an attraction force between these two and the earth if it is located at this particular location obviously there will be an attractive force between these two and if the earth is located at this particular point even then also actually there is an attractive force between these two if the earth is located at this point there is an attractive force between these two now if you notice sun is the single point where whatever may be the location of the earth still actually the line of action of this force is actually is passing through this single point so this single point actually so now actually this point is the center now the force is actually always passing through the center so hence actually this force is called the force of attraction in all these scenarios together we call that as a central force so central force is a not single term 
So central force constitutes of irrespective of the location. So there is a force always exists and all, that always passes through a single point. Now, in the normal case, if there are only two masses, then actually there is an attractive force between these two. So if at all there is a rotation, then actually we can thought of the central force. Or actually if there are just staying as it is, then actually we cannot say that there is a central force. Because here actually there are two forces. Now, both are staying as it is. Then actually it won't be a central force. Under the case of central forces, if at all there is a central force, then actually there will always be a rotation or a kind of movement that is going to exist. Now that rotation is actually called as actually the law of acceleration or the law of central acceleration. So here actually that actually we are going to discuss down the line. But first of all, actually the central force meaning, so one fixed point will be there irrespective of the location, the line of action is always passing through that particular point. Now, if this is the scenario, there are certain characteristics that are going to be associated in the moment of this particular orbit. Now, here actually, under the case of central orbits, the characteristics that are going to be getting is, one is the path of the particle. is always planar always planar in the case of central force this is one important characteristic and this is also called as so actually this is also postulated by uh, kepler so kepler actually you might have studied actually kepler's last Kepler is the one actually who has given the laws that are related to the moment of the orbit of the planets, right? So here actually all the Kepler's laws actually obeys the laws of this central force. So or actually indirectly we can say that the laws that are governed by the central force are nothing but the Kepler's laws. So here actually these Kepler's laws, one important law is, so the path of the particle is always a planar under the central force and then actually but actually this is not listed in the Kepler's last, but still actually you can postulate that way. Now the second one is like actually the area or the sectorial rate of area, the rate of sectorial area is constant, right? So the first law of the Kepler what states is the first one every planet so this actually i'm listing a third but actually it is the first law of the kepler right the second law is as it is but this is not listed as part of the kepler's law but actually under the force of central force there is always a case that actually the path of the particle is always a planar that we are going to prove it mathematically and then actually the first law of the kepler is every planet I'll just write it in the next slide. The first law is every planet tries to rotate in an elliptical orbit. Around the sun. with sun as one of the focus. One of the focus. This is the first law of the Kepler. The second law is the rate of sectorial area. Is constant. So this is the second postulate. This can also be treated as the planet, the radius vector joining the sun and the planet joining the sun and the planet swipes equal areas. in equal intervals of time. This is the second postulate. Right? 
and then the third one is t square by r cube is constant for all the planets where t is the period of rotation and r is the radial distance so this is the third postulate now all these postulates actually if you notice so except for the first postulate these two actually the characteristics of central forces of the particle moment under central force right so here actually if at all there is a central force obviously there will be a moment of that particular planet so here actually that moment may be of elliptical may be of parabolic or may be of hyperbolic or may be of circular so may be of different different cases so but actually if at all it is under the influence of the central force there will be a moment and that moment will have certain characteristics one characteristic is so that is not listed in the kepler's laws so that is actually an extra characteristic we can think of that characteristic is so that i have listed it here see this the path of the particle is always planar if the particle is moving under central force this is a characteristic first characteristic of a central force which essentially means that suppose if the particle is trying to move like this that is the so earth is actually moving in an or elliptical orbit like this now actually think of the 3d space like this suppose actually this is the sun location now let us say this pen actually is nothing but the earth let us say so this earth actually is rotating around the sun like this now when it is moving if you notice this is always a planar shape and then actually see this actually earth actually will not rotate one time like this and one more time like this and one more time like this or actually one more time like this so actually if you notice the earth actually is not a 3d space moment it rotates in a planar orbit see this if it selects one particular orbit throughout the life of the earth actually it will always rotates only in that planar elliptical orbit this is one of the very very important characteristic of every planet got it i hope you understood that is actually once if it starts in an elliptical orbit like this forever actually it will try to rotate only in the elliptical orbit but actually once it takes the elliptical orbit like this and again actually takes the elliptical orbit like this or again it takes the elliptical orbit like this it won't be that way right as when when if it selects one path throughout the life of the planet it will stay as it is right so that is the first characteristics of a central force 